Hey folks, Nathan here from Star Wars Beyond the Films, the Star Wars Sunlight Gold, and the Star Wars Report Rebels Roundtable bringing you a look at more Fantasy Flight Game Star Wars materials. This is the R2-D2 Loyal Astromech and C-3PO Human Cyborg Relations Hero Pack, or Expansion Pack, Character Pack, whatever, for Imperial Assault. So this is a new release for Wave 2. This goes at about 13 bucks, equivalent to Rebel Saboteurs, which makes sense because there are two miniatures in it, as was the case with Rebel Saboteurs. We have, of course, our campaign information here, or our detailed information here. We have our component breakdown and whatnot, information on the weakened condition, and then gives us our skirmish map for Wasteland Outpost. And you flip it over, and there's your side mission, open to interpretation. Of course, the biggest thing coming out of this is that you've got miniatures here. We've got C-3PO. And we got R2-D2. Now, with them, we have their deployment cards. R2 gets two of them. So R2-D2, with that symbol, is for the campaign. With this other symbol, is for skirmish missions. You then have C-3PO. The side mission card, open to interpretation, that can provide R2 and 3PO as allies. And then our skirmish missions, Ancient Knowledge, and Volatile Materials. We then have five command cards. Hard to hit, Single Purpose, Devotion, Terminal Network, and Etiquette and Protocol. And we have one condition card here, without a token, Weakened. Which of course was introduced back in the uh, Twin Shadows expansion. In fact, most of this was. Right? The skirmish missions, the side mission, those are new. And we got some new choices amongst our command cards here. But basically, R2-D2 and his two deployment cards and C-3PO's one deployment card were in the Twin Shadows expansion. You just didn't get miniatures, you got tokens instead. So very much like Wave 1, this is saying, hey, here's something you got in a box that had a token instead of a miniature. Now, how would you like to have a miniature? And some more game stuff like side missions and skirmish maps. So, whether or not you think this is really going to be worthwhile, again, try to measure this. Well, there's two ways, I guess. One, the one I wouldn't recommend is, do I want figures instead of tokens? That might make the decision for you, if you're really nitpicky about it. But you can still play them with just the tokens. The bigger question is, do I want some more skirmish missions? Do I want another side mission? Right? Do I want these other cards to add into my library for use when I play Imperial Assault. If that's the case, this might be one you'll want to pick up. But again, because it has two figures, you are looking at a $13 price tag, $12.95 at most places. That's the uh, retail price. And your mileage will certainly vary depending on your view of side missions and skirmish maps and your view of tokens versus figures. Odd that they're doing this same type of thing like they did with Wave 1 with Wave 2 and Twin Shadows, but they are. And it's kind of consumer friendly, I suppose, but it is drawing people who want miniatures back again to picking them up through expansions.